Access denied. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just caught wind of something that I wanted to talk about, but obviously it's more than this. Uh, we're talking about Sam Bankman Freed here, but it's more than just Sam Bankman Freed and what happened in the FTX case. This is big because it really sets an example that this is not gonna be tolerated. We need to get the bad actors out of crypto, especially someone like Sam Bankman Freed who just completely and utterly thought he was above the law, right? Like it was so, so blatant that we didn't see it. Like literally you look back on it, it's kind of crazy. You start to think, well, how did they get so big so fast? How did they get an arena uh, out of nowhere? Usually you have to build these things. How did it all just happen, right? Well, now we know why, because it was all made up in the first place. It was all phony, it was all fake. And recently, so they came out with this news. Let me share this news with you guys. So the judges uh, deny Sam Bankman Freed's appeal for early release. But again, stay with me because I wanna talk about what this actually means uh, moving forward. And basically, uh, this happened September 21st. Uh, circuit judges Johnny Walker, Denny Chin, and William Nardini denied SBF's motion uh, for early release, which his team argued largely on First Amendment grounds. I'm not going to go into all the specifics of all of that legal jargon and all that kind of stuff. But here's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is it doesn't look like Sam Bankman Freed's going to get away clean. And initially, we thought that could happen, right? Initially, we thought man, is this thing like just going to be swept under the rug? Is this going to be nothing? Uh, but the fact that it's happened like this and it's played out like this is actually really good, I think, for our industry moving forward because it shows other people out there that they can't just go ahead and take advantage of people. They can't just go ahead and think they're above the law, right? They can't go ahead and just say, well, you know what? I'm bigger, I'm better. I've got all the donors and win everybody over, right? And that's really good, actually, moving forward, because if we really want to move this thing forward, we have to have the trust. People have to trust the systems that are in place, right? Especially when we look at centralized exchanges. And this is why I don't hold hardly any money on centralized exchanges, right? I hold a little bit if I'm trading, but that's it, right? Never anything like major on centralized exchanges. Um, but I thought this was an interesting story and it does speak volumes for the future. And hopefully this is a good thing for us moving forward. It, uh, what's the word? It basically, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it makes people think twice about doing something like Sam Bankman Freed did. Let me know if you guys know the word I'm thinking of. Um, but uh, yeah, appreciate you guys as always. I can't think of that word. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.